No, you can't. The way that works is... Well, I, I mean, okay, actually, I take that back. You can. The way that works is, I mean, you have to. If you add a coin to a block... It automatically gets turned into... A multi-coin block. And as far as I know, there's no way to reduce the amount of coins in it. It's always time-based. So however many you can hit within, I think, was it? Like, five seconds or something? Um, or however many seconds it is. So... Alright, uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and see if there's any of the levels I want to show off that I've created. Otherwise, we may move on to levels that other people have created. No, not upload. Not upload this. I ruined it. Oh, did I save it? Looks like it did. Darn it! Ah, oh, ruin my bomb battlefield! No, it should be really easy to fix. Anyways, um, oh, you know, I'll show off this one. Uh, here is one that uh, I made for Josh, or I, I made it for myself. I had Josh play it, and he had trouble with it. So I'm I'm all about coming up with new mechanics for this game, uh, to like to make use of things in interesting ways. At least I find them interesting. You guys might find them terrible. Um, anyways, apparently this is still pretty tricky. So, so anyways, you have the shells that drop from the pipe here. The, the shell hat, so you can wear it as a hat, and the little light indicating this is a big thing every time it pops out. We'll continue on, and then you have these hammer brothers that pop out. Or these sumo brothers, I should say. Or sledgehammer, or sledge bros. So, what's that about? Well, let's go and take them out real quick. And the helmet protects against the hammers. Well, look! There is something I can't reach. There's a warp pipe with blocks blocking up their pre switches up above. How do I reach it? Go ahead and grab my helmet again. Let's take out this guy. And let's stand where the arrow is. And look, we can actually bounce him to where I need him. And I'll... Just jump off of him and... Hit the P-switch. Take the warp pipe. Alright, so that was a training... That was a training portion. Alright, where are we going now? Let's see what's up next. Alright, so we're gonna bounce this guy along. Oh, it's getting tricky! Oh, and I screwed it up. So we have to go back, get into the helmet, and we'll try again. Oh, and I screwed it up again. Alright. Should follow, I should trust the arrow. So this isn't really something you can do in the previous Mario game. Oh, there it is! Hit him up there, and he can actually hit himself too. Alright. Phase two is done, let's see what's next. Alright, get into the mushroom here. Alright. Get a shell helmet. Alright, let's move on. Oh, we got conveyor belts. He's rolling on it. Keep bouncing them here, over the prom plant. Up. Oh my god. Oh, that- he was going way- he was going too fast there. So I may want to add like a door or something to go back quicker, because this is... <laughs> it's a little bit annoying having to run back that far. Let's try it one more time. See if we can get it. Oh, nope. Screwed that up. Gotta get him under the conveyor belt. There he goes. Oh! Gotta catch up, gotta catch up! No! Alright, I'm gonna try it a couple more times. I got really good at this when I made it. I'm not nearly as good right now. And like, he's goes, he even goes off screen here, so he can't... Oh, So close! Anyways. Yeah, so that's where I was supposed to get them, right there. So, yeah, there you have it. I called it... What did I call it? I think... Hey, buddy, give me a lift or something. Anyways, let's check in with Derek here. Alright, someone's asking if you can put wings on helmets. Let's find out. I don't think you can, but... Nope, you cannot. 
That would be kind of cool if you could actually make a helmet that you had to jump into that was flying around. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if you can give a mushroom to it. I don't think you can. No. But, what if we... What if we make him normal? Like, can I make him more normal now? Alright. Let's give this guy a mushroom. Okay, right, because when you shake it, he has to give her the mushroom first before he can turn into a helmet. So you cannot make helmets bigger either. Oh, uh, let's see. Someone's asking if you can change where Mario starts the level. Uh, yes and no. I mean, you can change the height of it. That is all you can do. Otherwise, you're locked to it. Of course, what you can do is, you know, if you really want, you just set up a wall here where they can't get past and then put, like, a door. Where are my doors at? Put a door down. Make him go through the door and put the other door wherever you want the entrance, the actual entrance to be. So, yeah, there you go. Um, let's see, we checking out Derek more questions. Uh, can the ending, someone's asking if you can place the end of the world in the sub-world. No, you cannot. It has to be in the main world. So you definitely want to have some idea of what you want to do with your course before you start making it. Because there have been times where I wanted to have the sub-world or the ending in a different theme than the one I started off with in the main world. And it just turned into a giant mess. I had to redo the entire level, basically. So, yeah, definitely be cognizant of that. Um, alright, let's see here. Someone's asking if Bowser can be put on rail. 